The financial world is talking a lot about the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC supposedly good deal offer to Ripple Labs. There were more rumors after the SEC suddenly called off a key meeting that was supposed to talk about the outcome of their pending settlement. Many people think that Ripple and the SEC have pretty much settled their differences after this event. Nearly everyone agrees that the Ripple. CC deal will end soon, maybe in a few days or a week at most. Before we start, please enter your name, click the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to join our group. The recent strategic move by Ripple to list XRP on major exchanges and buy it back gives these predictions more weight. Most analysts think that Ripple's big repurchase is an important part of the terms of their deal with the SEC. It's clear that XRP could have a big impact because more than 19 central banks want to grow the XRP ledger and use the XRP coin. This level of business interest makes it look like XRP could reach $10,000 in value. In the past few months, an amazing 9.4 billion XRP have been bought by more than 19 central banks. This is just the start. More banks will soon offer native XRP tokens and other coins in the XRP environment. A lot of researchers and experts have said that the main reason for the current success in the XRP market is that the Ripple SEC lawsuit is almost over. The SEC recently made Ripple Labs its first ever payment offer. This is a big step forward in the story. Part of the agreement that tries to end the long legal fight is a big disgorgement charge of $770 million. It's important to remember that Ripple turned down a similar offer from the SEC at first. But the regulator said it was willing to work out a better deal for Ripple. It's interesting that this change happened at the same time that the Federal Reserve and other big banks started to store XRP. It's crazy that BlackRock and JP Morgan have bought more than 7.5 million XRP together. And this fits with the plan to list XRP. Based on Judge and Lissatoris ruling in the dispute between Ripple and the SEC, this is a big win for Ripple Labs. Now that the judge has said that XRP is not a security but a retail product. More institutions will be able to work with the XRP ledger and coin. Because XRP can help with trillions and quadrillions and quadrillions of dollars worth of transactions, many analysts and experts think that the price of XRP could hit $10,000 per coin after this legal clarification. Some people may not believe certain expert views to be true, but not everyone feels this way. From what I've learned, this seems to be the general opinion among people who work in institutions. Because XRP could handle more than $1.20. Quadrillion. A $10,000 price for each one is not only fair, it's necessary. Because there aren't many XRPs available and there is a lot of strong desire for them, their value has to be high to make sure there is enough money to handle these big financial transactions. Setting a goal for XRP to be worth $10,000 is more than just an idea. People think it's important for the cryptocurrency to be able to handle a lot of foreign transactions without running out of supply. Arthur Brito, co-founder of Ripple Labs, has talked a lot about XRP's potential. He says that he created it with a $10,000 value to make sure that it can be used all over the world. This view is strengthened by the fact that the Federal Reserve is very interested in the XRP system. They have constantly said that XRP and Ripple are important assets for international payments in many reports. This approval makes it possible for XRP to be used in more ways and earn more money, especially for regular investors who can use its fast processing speeds. Think about the rules and regulations. In the US, only two cryptocurrencies, XRP and Bitcoin, have been officially recognized by the government. Forbes shockingly said that XRP would get close to $60,000. This estimate fits with what Google and Bing found. The prediction was in a story called The New Bitcoin is XRP and it's headed to $59,472 it was taken down from Forbes website soon after it was posted, which I find strange. Which made a lot of people in the XRP community talk and guess. Many. People are talking about Forbes's decision which has made people more interested in and excited about cryptocurrency. Possible value comparisons between XRP and Bitcoin are especially interesting because they suggest that XRP's value could finally reach or even exceed Bitcoin's. There was a lot of talk after the Forbes article about XRP was taken down. Some people thought it was taken down because of a changed editorial decision, while others thought it might have been taken down because of legal or regulatory worries. No matter what the reason was for taking it down, this move made it even harder to predict what XRP will be worth in the future. This amazing finding was confirmed by many sources such as Microsoft, Bing, and Googlebard.ai. The main thing we want to talk about is how important Bitcoin and XRP are to the altcoin market. Both of these cryptocurrencies are setting the standard. They also have the ability to make a lot of money by allowing large-scale financial 
transactions. In any case, let me be clear, this is not financial advice, and I'm not one. I plan to share information and points of view based on these studies and publications. Big banks and financial firms on Wall Street, like JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and BlackRock, are paying attention to XRP. The fact that they are becoming more involved shows that they know what it can do. The Federal Reserve's frequent references to Ripple Labs and XRP and its reports are another sign that more people want to use the XRP digital currency. The SEC's change of stance is important from a regulatory point of view. The SECC was at first sure that they would not settle, but they are now talking about how to stop the ripple effect. Chairman of the SEC Gary Gensler didn't just decide to change his mind. It is more likely a response to pressure from the federal government. It has been said that both the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Treasury plan to use XRP. However, XRP is currently in a legal battle with a government body over its classification as a security, which makes it harder for them to fully adopt the technology. At this point, the best thing to do is to settle the Ripple SEC lawsuit in a professional and friendly way. After that, there should be a change in strategy too. Make the long-term agreements with Ripple Labs public, especially those that have to do with the FedNow payment system. Leaked papers suggest that banking regulators and Ripple Labs should meet to discuss adding technologies like XCurrent, SRAPID, and on-demand liquidity. These papers are already causing a lot of controversy. This makes good use of XRP's blockchain features to speed up FedNow's payment processes. But because of the current legal dispute, these events have stayed quiet. After the lawsuit is over, there will likely be a lot of statements that discuss important partnerships between Ripple Labs and major financial institutions, possibly including the Federal Reserve. Even though they are based on leaks and haven't been checked, these stories make sense in a bigger picture. XRP is worth about 60 cents right now, which might not seem like much considering how many financial deals it will likely make possible. Having a cosmetic XRP coin is a great way to keep a real reminder of how valuable XRP is. With Christmas coming up soon, these coins could make nice. Gifts for family, friends, or anyone interested in the future of money. It's not just a bunch of things, it shows XRP's untapped potential, which could make its value skyrocket into the thousands. Remember that I'm not a licensed financial planner. You should just watch these videos for fun. People who watch my videos should always do their own study and talk to experts before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for listening. If you liked the video, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to turn on the alerts so you know right away when I post something new. I can't wait to see you in the next video.